for inviting us in. It is 6 o'clock, and tonight there are renewed calls to find answers from a series of gruesome crimes dating back decades. 13 News was there back in 1996 when Hamilton County authorities dug up thousands of remains at Fox Hollow Farm. Well, now nearly three decades later, investigators need help identifying some of those people who those victims were. Police are now calling on families to come forward if a male loved one went missing back in the 80s or 90s and to give DNA samples to find possible matches. The Hamilton County Coroner's Office says it's time for closure for the families of those who have not been identified. Our John Duran has been following these new developments. He joins us live tonight. John. Jenny, so far only eight victims have been positively identified, but officials think there could be so many more. And those remains, which consist of over 10,000 bones and bone fragments, have been held at the Indi University of Indianapolis. But they can't positively ID anybody else without the help of relatives. It's a mystery more than a quarter century old. When I'm asked, why now? I say, why not now? Hamilton County's coroner elect Jeff Jellison is launching a new effort to identify remains of the suspected dozens of murdered men at Fox Hollow Farm. When, when someone becomes missing or a family member dies, uh, there's, a, there's a grieving process, and it's kind of hard to, to work your way through that process when you really don't know what happened. The suspected killer is Herbert Baumeister. He allegedly preyed on men in the gay community, killing them on his property. Shortly after an investigation into Burmeister began, he took his own life. An unknown number of bones and bone fragments were left buried around his home. There were 11 DNA profiles identified. From those 11, investigators were able to uh, match eight people. But Jellison says that just scratches the surface of what could be discovered. We think that there's probably more people and maybe as possibly as many as 25 people. Jellison says the coroner's office is in a good place to take this challenge on now. In 1996, DNA technology really was not something local law enforcement and uh, medical investigators we're familiar with. Since then, there's been a lot of improvement. To hopefully, finally, bring closure to families with no answers. They were essentially forgotten, and they're not forgotten any longer.